Then further you read verse number 31. Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 31. After Jesus says, I and my father are one. The Jews picked up stones to stone him. You know, they knew. The Jews wanted to kill him because good riddance. Ah, see, the Christians say he claimed divinity because for redemption. Christians said he claimed divinity for redemption. Jews said he claimed divinity for good riddance. And okay, good, we want to kill him, so we want an excuse to kill him. Verse number 32 gives the answer. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Many of good works have I shown you for my father. Which of the good works do you stone me for? Verse 32. You can check it up. Verse 32. Which of the good works do you stone me for? Then verse number 33 says, Jews answered, We don't stone you for good works. We stone you because ye being a man, you blaspheme it. You claim divinity. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, verse number 34, 35 says, or Gospel of John, chapter number 10, says that, Is it not mentioned in your scriptures that ye are gods? And to a person who the word of God has come, if you call that person God, the scripture is not broken. To a person to whom the word of God has come, if you call him God, the scripture is not broken. And if you have cross-reference of Psalms, chapter 82, verse number 6, it says, There that ye are gods. So if you read the context, brother, Jesus, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity. What he said in purpose, Almighty God and himself in giving the message, they were the same. Hope that answers the question. Yes, brother, if you have any... Any <coughs> point to give for you can give that. No, I think you are using the Bible according to your convenience. Because oh, if, somebody, say, if somebody, I'm wrong, say, brother, see, somebody, brother, if I'm wrong, you're most welcome to correct. Somebody me. somebody asked about that question of salvation. And you, you gave that instant that, no, no, brother, that, we, that young we, brother. Brother, we'll come to that first. Yeah. That talk about divinity. We'll come to salvation after I'm here. I will not go away. Because first, that, that was related to that. Yes, we'll come so, to that also, brother. We'll yeah. come to Matthew chapter 19 afterwards. First, do you agree that Jesus, peace be upon here, did not claim divinity? If you say claim divinity, you have to believe in 14 gods. You, you say, I understand Bible wrong. I'm open for correction. I'm human beings, can't make a mistake, I can make a mistake. Here is the Bible, you tell me, Dr. Zakir Naik, you are understanding Bible wrong. It's not like that, it's like that, I'm open for correction. But only by saying I'm wrong, laying an allegation, Islam believes it should always be given with proof. I told you you are wrong, giving proof, quoting chapter number, verse number, giving the context. You have to prove me wrong, brother, your context was wrong because of X, Y, Z reasons. Here's the Bible, brother, you can read from the Bible and prove me wrong. I'm ready, I'm open for correction. Don't, don't just say me, oh, you're getting it wrong. See, when we say a person is wrong, if I say 2 plus 3 is equal to 4, you are wrong. I have to give reasons why it is wrong. So brother, I have given you my context. If you think my understanding of the Bible is wrong, you as being a theologian, you are a theologian, I agree. I am not a theologian, I am the student of theology only. You being a theologian, you have to tell me, brother Zakir, your context is wrong, it's not this, it's that. Show me, I am giving you cross references. Then we will come to the next part of salvation, brother. So do you have any argument for Gospel of John chapter 10 verse number 30? No, no. You, 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 